Now settle down, class. Today we have a very special treat. Gentlemen, would you please introduce yourselves? Thank you, Mrs. Dill. My name is Michael Newman, and I work on an Irish cargo ship where we sail to France to sell some of our goods. Right! My name is Seamus O'Leary. I'm from 1849. I work on a coffin ship, and it's horrible. I'm constantly hearing the sound of crying, miserable people. And so far, I've had to throw five people out into the sea. They died on board. And trust me, there's been a lot more than just five this trip. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe you could tell us about something besides dead people. Michael, what's the food like on board? Well, I get breakfast, lunch and dinner. The cook's name is Henry and his food is to die for. Henry prepares the food and he also makes our beds and cleans our rooms. Every day we serve porridge. It's horrible. Our cook's name's Sinead and sometimes she's happy, but most of the time she is the most horrible person on earth. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank, thank you, Seamus. And wait, look at this. The ship is running on wind power and it has the biggest sails I've ever seen. We'll be there in about five weeks. Let's see you beat that, Michael. Well, our ship has a powerful engine and can travel between 16 and 22 knots. We have radios to communicate with back home, radars in case anything unexpected pops up, and when we get to France, we will use big cranes to unload our cargo. Cranes? We lift our cargo by hand. What kind of sailors use cranes? I've heard rumours that quite a lot of ships going from Ireland to America have sank, leaving tons of people dead. OK, uh, thank you, Seamus. It looks like we're out of time. When I get to America, I'd better find a better job, otherwise I'll be dead. Seamus, class. Let's let's all thank Michael and Seamus for coming in. Thank, thank you, Michael, Michael and, and Seamus. It's not over till we're dead. <laughs>